Well, hi everyone and welcome to the Buffett and Beyond Stock Analysis video and we're going into two stocks in computer software and that's because Oracle, which is in computer software, beat earnings estimates and it is up big the other day and we're going to compare it to a company you probably haven't heard of called Cadence Design Systems and folks this is where Clean Surplus comes in and allows you to pick the better stock because Oracle is a good stock Cadence is twice as good and we'll see why we'll just look right at the numbers so folks, if you want to live on this beach like Jimmy Buffett, you've got to learn how to invest even better than Warren Buffett. And here it is, Oracle Beats, but Cadence is a much faster growing company. And this is how we're going to be able to tell by using the computer program at buffettandbeyond.com. So let's look at some charts and let's look at Oracle. Now the lines in blue are the average stock in our database, which includes about 1800 stocks. So is Oracle a average stock, above average stock or below average stock? Because don't forget, 96% of professional money managers cannot outperform the S&P 500 index over any 10-year period. 96% of professional portfolio managers. And we're talking about those folks that run the publicly traded mutual funds so we can follow them all the time. Now, the key is to fill your portfolio with stocks that are better than the average stocks. And not a little better than the average stock, but a lot better than the average stock. So let's look at Oracle, which is a little bit better than the average stock. So the average stock is in blue over here. We're looking at the clean surplus return on equity. And Oracle has a better clean surplus return on equity. And think of your bank account. When you put money in the bank and then you get a return on that money, that's a return on equity, isn't it? Yeah, we don't think that way with banks. We think about interest rates, but really that interest rate is a return on your equity. So when we look at Oracle, Oracle has a better clean surplus ROE, return on equity, than does the average stock. The problem is it's just not that much better. Now when it comes to net income, the average stock has a better net income, in this case 13%, than does Oracle at 9.5%. Now what about revenue? Well, revenue is not as good in the average stock than in Oracle. So Oracle has a much better revenue stream than does the average stock. So what are we looking at here? Oracle beats slightly on the clean surplus ROE, is underperforming the average stock with net income. And remember what net income is. It is the clean surplus earnings. You take traditional accounting earnings and you subtract non-recurring items and future liabilities and it gives you net income or clean surplus earnings. So in that case, Oracle underperforms. But when it comes to how much money it's actually bringing in it's bringing in much more money than the average stock okay let's look at cadence and we can see again the green line is cadence the blue line is the average stock when it comes to the clean surplus ROE cadence is really outperforming nicely 21 percent very very nice net income or the clean surplus earnings much much better than the average stock the average stock 13 percent and cadence 18 percent when it comes to revenue it's almost doubling or cadence is almost doubling the average stock in the s p 500 so we're looking at two stocks here folks and just by looking at these numbers and let's look at what you see on the computer program when we look at the numbers we can see that the clean surplus return on equity right in here on Oracle is around 14% over the over this year and next year where the average stock is about 13%. But look at Cadence. Cadence is up almost to 20% for 2023 which is this year right in here. But here's the key to this whole thing, folks. When we look at owner's equity and think of your bank account again, owner's equity is the amount of money you have in your bank account. So if we look at 10 years ago, and we include next year, 2024, the projected numbers, we can see that the your bank account for Oracle or the Oracle bank account has grown 279 percent but what about cadence cadence has its owner's equity or the money you have in the bank 
growing at 531 percent folks 531 percent is almost twice as much as 279 percent so just looking at these numbers and looking at the two charts we just looked at there's cadence looking good in green and there's oracle kind of average a little above average when we look at those two charts and we look at these numbers and how the owner's equity or in other words your bank account is growing which bank account would you have to pay more for if you were going to buy one of these bank accounts well the one that's growing twice as fast as the other one right so that's where it comes in folks now let's look and see if these numbers are correct and over the past five years black line is the s p 500 and we can see that oracle yes is a little bit above the average stock lately it's been doing very very well because we've had a rally in tech and semiconductor stocks so oracle has been doing well very very proud of it but what's this blue line up here yeah that's cadence <laughs> that stock symbol is cd and s by the way over here you could look and we can see that this stock cadence which is in the computer software business and is rival its its rival is oracle is growing more than twice as fast as oracle and oracle's growing faster than the s p 500 so folks when you look at stocks you want to look at those numbers and you can fill your portfolios with stocks that have the higher numbers when i did my original research 22 years ago that's exactly how i picked the 30 stocks in our growth portfolio i looked at the clean surplus return on equity and that's all there was i just want to bring up one more point before i go on and this is years to pay debt so this is oracle over here and this is cadence design systems over here now this is buffett's rule he says years to pay debt if a company takes all the money it's making and uses it to pay debt how many years will it take to pay off that debt his rule of thumb is five years or less and you can see oracle would take six years so this doesn't fit into buffett's portfolio does it doesn't fit into ours by any means cadence design systems can pay off all of its debt in a half a year in six months so we want to look at a company that when rising interest rates occur it doesn't worry about the debt that it has because it has very very little debt and of course that's where we all want to be we want to have very very little debt oracle has too much debt for us even though it's a pretty good company folks we like cadence design systems much much better and we can see that growth in here and that bank account when you think of the bank account that's the one let's look at it that's the one that's growing the fastest twice as fast as oracle so there's no doubt about it cadence design systems is the company that you want rather than oracle so folks just for listening to this you can get a free two-week trial which includes the use of our computer program and includes a pdf version of the book buffett and beyond you put your email in there and folks we'll send it to you and we'll when you sign up for the free week two or the free two-week trial you will automatically get a password and that is all at buffett and beyond.com buffett is spelled with two f's and two t's all one word buffett and beyond.com okay folks if you remember, if you want to live on this beach like Jimmy Buffett and look at the sunrise through this hole in this little seashell, you want to live on this beach, you've got to learn how to invest even better than Warren Buffett. Okay, folks, we'll see you next time. Happy investing.